tutorial on how to use the auto collider GUI that I made. What you want to do it first is download this code, open it up, go inside, and you want to put this in a Maya scripts folder somewhere where Maya can get to your Python stuff. Crack it over. Now, here's a use case for this script. Let's say you have some kind of geometry into this example, a dog, and he's trapped in this fence, and you have a bunch of joints skinned to the fence. Now it controls so that you can animate how the fence moves. And the dog wants to go berserk and collide with the fence. It would be uh, animating a lot of joints. So to make your life easier, we can use the tool. So I'm going to write import auto collision to my DC, auto collision to my DC show. Let's run that. Now here we get the GUI. It's telling us to name the collision module and the doggy. Now select controls and press assign controls. Uh, these are all, all these guys. Have this quick little script to help me select the controls. So I selected the controls and now I can assign controls. I'm assign all my controls. Now select geometry to collide with. This would be this dog. And we just have this sphere here for another example. So I'm going to assign this geometry as well. Dog and sphere. Uh, assign the controller joints that drives all the other controls. This is just like the main group of the controls for now. That's fine. Do you want to drive the geometry? No, I don't want to constrain my geometry. Create an offset? Yes. And create a plan attribute so you could turn the collision on or off. Now, at this point where all collisions will go away from, this is going to be the point where see right here, it's in the center, so that whenever something collides with this control, it's going to go away from that point in the line. So we'll go away. Whatever collides over here will go this way when I assign this point. Okay. okay, now we can create our collisions. What's that? I can grab our dog geometry, move it around. So it collides with all these controls. And I can still grab the control and further adjust it. Let's say I adjust it further, but you know I don't like it too much. I can turn off the auto collision. Wait right there. Uh, move the dog back. So Normally, you don't want to do this with really dense geometry because it'll be a little slower. Like the dog has 10,000 faces and it does get a little slow. Let's see if I hide the dog and just animate the the ball. It's a lot faster. Let's see, if I just place some keyframes down. So if I hit play still evaluating the dog because it's still in the scene, so it's not playing at quite the right um, frames per second. Let's stop that, and if I delete the dog and hit play, now I get 24 frames per second. No problem. So yeah, that's how I use the auto collision tool.